Matter. Hey guys, welcome back to Getting Sticky with Ricky, and I'm Ricky. Thanks for tuning in my first video of the week. Um, tomorrow is St. Patty's Day. I've always loved corned beef and cabbage growing up. I love covering in mustard. I'm actually gonna show you two recipes in one video. I'm gonna not only show you how to cook corned beef and cabbage, what we're actually gonna do with the corned beef and cabbage is turn it into pizza. Yeah, I'm gonna attempt this. Never done it before. Didn't look any recipes up online for for research for this. Uh, so I'm just going with this. I don't know how it's gonna taste. Uh, so we're gonna find out together. So I'm excited. I don't know if you're excited. Let's see. So, okay, uh, I'm not doing a marinara sauce. We're actually gonna do a, I think I'm gonna do a garlic, parmesan, horseradish, alfredo sauce for the crust. First thing I wanna show you how to do is we're gonna actually, I'm gonna show you how to cook the corned beef and cabbage. It's a basic recipe. Uh, you, there's, you can fancy it up. If you're gonna make a corned beef and cabbage dish at home, throw some potatoes in here, throw some carrots. Uh, I'm not doing all that on the pizza. Uh, I just, I don't, I don't wanna, this pizza already sounds intriguing as it is. I didn't wanna make it more complicated with some carrots and potatoes. But you throw the carrots and potatoes in when, anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. We're not doing that. We're just doing corned beef and cabbage uh, for the pizza. So let's get a zoom in here uh, and I'm gonna show you what I got. So. Here's our corned beef. I got a two pound corned beef from the grocery store. Uh, my goal was actually to get deli meat corned beef so I can didn't have to do this whole process. <laughs> but guess what, everybody's out. So we're cooking it. You're in luck, because I'm gonna show you how to, I'm showing you now how to cook corned beef and cabbage. I got the whole cabbage. We're gonna poop on our corned beef with some brown sugar. And in my beautiful La Croissant, La Croissant, La croissette, I'm not French. I don't know how, you, I'm not that bougie. I have two cups of water um, and I have some bouillon uh, to here. Mine that I'm using is actually French onion. Uh, you can use beef, you can use vegetable. It's really not, doesn't, doesn't matter. It's just gonna keep the moisture in uh, our beef while it's cooking. Preheat your oven to 350 while we're doing this, okay? So first things first, let's poop on our corned beef. I got a tablespoon of great poupon. I'm just gonna slop that right on there. Two tablespoons. Now, at this point, you can do whatever, however you like to do this. Uh, I love my hands. They're my favorite. They're my favorite tools. They're clean, booger-free. Don't worry. And I'm just gonna rub my poop on. <laughs> I'm rubbing my poop on the beef, corned beef. Now, mush my hand. Now, when you buy fresh corned beef, it comes with that little seasoning packet. You can do it if you want. I'm doing it. And now, brown sugar. We're just gonna crumble this brown sugar right over top here. Now, take the corned beef, put it face side down in your broth with the fat side up. That's gonna keep the juices in. Two more tablespoons of Grey Poupon. Some more brown sugar. All right, get a good smear around. Over top of the fat. Spank that meat, bad meat, bad. Put a lid on it. And then we're gonna pop this in our oven for one hour at 350 degrees. Uh, I started doing it and realized that I wasn't recording, so I took, anyway, so take your cabbage, cut it in half, cut the core out. Cut each half into fours, into quarters. Take those, put that over top, a tablespoon of horseradish, we're gonna put a lid back on this, and we're gonna put it back in the oven for about an hour and a half. Check on it then. Okay, so corned beef and cabbage has about another half hour in the oven. Um, we're gonna get started on our garlic, Parmesan, Dijon <laughs> sauce for our pizza. We're gonna give this a try, see what happens. We're gonna add about a cup and a half of milk. We're gonna add one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. One clove of minced garlic. And we're gonna give this a whisk around. We're gonna get this milk nice and steamy. Then we're gonna add our Parmesan cheese and maybe more Dijon mustard, I don't know. Haven't fully decided, thought that process part out yet. You know what, I'm adding another teaspoon of mustard. I just have a feeling, I just have a feeling. Pinch of salt. Right, we're starting to get some steaming of this milk. I'm about to add a handful of Italian five cheese blend, um, Parmesan, mozzarella, provolone, Asiago, Romano, you know, all those typical Italian, oh, I'm making a mess, Italian cheeses. Okay, 
we're gonna whisk this together carefully so you don't make a mess over your stove like I just did. It smells good. Let's add another teaspoon of mustard of gray poupon. A little bit more cheese. Gonna add another handful of cheese. Let that sit there for a second. Get a little melty. And go. Get this another stir. All right. Yeah, we're getting some. Th right. Yeah, that's thick. That's the way I want it. All right. Now All right. Let's poop on our sauce one more time with one more uh, tablespoon of mustard. Let's give this a stir. Our corned beef and cabbage is done. Well, the timer rang for it. Leave your oven on. We're gonna need that. I'm cheating. I got myself a already pre-made pizza crust. I, I just didn't have the time. I mean, if you wanna make your own pizza crust, be my guest, okay? Put some of that Dijon mustard, Parmesan sauce on our pizza. All right, we're moving some corned beef and some cabbage. Now, Let's shred some of this corned beef. Leave that be. Well, you should be able to shred your cabbage too because it's probably that tender. Put the crust back down. If you want to wait till this cools down to shred it, be my guest. I don't got time for all that. Get it all over this pizza evenly. Now, our cabbage. Put some cheese on top of that bitch. And we're gonna pop this in the oven at 350 for five to 10 minutes, just until the cheese gets melty. All right, so our pizza's been in for five minutes. Look how that turned out. Oh my God, look at that. Corned beef and cabbage pizza. I, I, I just wanna, <laughs> I don't know if I can eat anymore. I ate that egg Benedict earlier. Ugh, where's the pizza roll cutter? So I have one and I got one, there it is. All right, let's cut it into this. <sighs> Let it sit for a few minutes at least so it settle, it coagulates. I don't have time. I've been doing this all day. I'm getting a new car tomorrow, so I really gotta clean my car out, go to the gym, I'm fat, you know, cause I eat all day on Mondays. <laughs> all right, let's give this a shot. I will say, I'm super impressed with this. I'm impressed with this. I'm impressed with, with what's coming out on Sunday. I had a really good week with this YouTube recipes. They turned out door. Try this one with your leftover corned beef and cabbage for St. Patty's Day. I'll see you on Sunday.